Hey guys, we're here with Rosie, and uh, I have Lisa here, and Lisa's never really held a tarantula, right? Right. Okay, so we're, I'm going to tell you a little bit about tarantulas. So first of all, um, most people don't pick up this way. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to take the tarantula, I pick up with two, and just put her down, okay? Now, first off, when you're dealing with the tarantula, I take a pen and just kind of put it in front of her so she knows that I'm not a food item or something like that. It kind of just preps her a little bit. Now what you can do is you can also take your hand and just kind of scoop to the side. I do that with Rosie. Now, now not all rose hairs are this nice. So if they get defensive, what does it look like? Um, they'll, they'll actually, when you put something in front, they'll usually strike at it. Um, they'll put up like a one of these guys and probably both of those um, and just kind of put them up and wait. But usually most spiders will just like tag it. Okay? That's one way you can pick them up. Okay? I pick up with this way, and most people don't. And I just support, barely squeeze, and just go like that, and then put on my hand. And the other way that I actually just recently learned about that I wasn't really comfortable doing, but I realized it's probably the best way for Michael Dean of Exotic Kingdom, is to take your hand like this, and just cover her like that. And we'll kind of move, but once you have them, you're good. And you just squeeze with all your fingers. Oh my goodness. And you just take her like that, and you can literally flip her over. Huh. Which is pretty cool. So, and I used, I used to not do that at all. Um, but I realized that from that standpoint, if you think about it, the tarantula has to pop up on his back feet to strike you. So if you put your hand on top like this, it can't do anything. It can't go anywhere. And then you just take your fingers and kind of squeeze together and flip it over. That's kind of my method of doing that. And obviously you want them to be around this size in order to do that last, yes. last method. I'm trying to see if I can get any web out of her. No, she's, she hasn't started. Okay, so take your hand like this, flat. Oh my goodness. There you go. And she's just going to go just like that. And then if you get nervous, take your other hand and put it in front. And usually she'll just walk. Some tarantulas will stay put more. Like white knees, I've noticed that when you have them in your hand, they don't move that much. Um, she moves a little bit. Oh my goodness. But didn't you realize that when you think of a spider and you're like, that's really, really kind of creepy on you, and then I don't really consider a tarantula a spider. She's heavy. Yeah, like a house spider totally freaks me out. <laughs> yeah, I can't do, I, I guess because she's not being fast, but they can get pretty fast, can't they? Oh yeah, if they wanted to, they could bolt. And so what keeps them from bolting? She's just comfortable. There's no reason for her to really trip out right now. Huh, are they clumsy? No, not at all. Like, what's really oh neat? Goodness. You want to see something really cool? <laughs> Let's do this last thing. Now, if you blow or anything like that, she'll start to move. This is what I call the suspension. I always show the kids. If I go like this, if you watch her, she almost like... It's she, like shock. Yeah, it's like a shock. And uh, I, I always find that really, really neat about her. So then when I want her to go back, what I'll do is two different things. I'll either put my hand down or I just kind of grab her in the two spots like this. And right now she's kind of... Uh, She's gripping on. She's trying to get all comfortable. So I'll just take her just like this. Let them walk themselves. Yep. And she'll just come off. 